Hi, my name is Jesse Blanchard with Goat and Yeti, and today I'm going to show you how to do 3D flash photography. Okay, let's get started. This is what you're going to need. Two cameras, strobes, a 2.5 millimeter cable. Note, this is not the standard 3.5 millimeter like what you'd see at the end of headphones. A power strip, battery adapters for your cameras, and the Robert rig. Now, the Robert rig is going to allow us to get nice and close to our image and get really, really good roundness. Now, the Robert rig might seem a little intimidating at first, but it's really easy to use. Attach your first DSLR to the top camera mount and your second to the rear camera mount. Next, plug both cameras into the same power source. Use the 2.5 millimeter cable to connect the cameras to each other. Lastly, connect the sync cable to one of the cameras. You may need to use a hot shoe adapter to do this. Now in regards to syncing two DSLRs, there's a lot of information on the web about how this can be done. I tested a lot of methods and was not very successful. I even had some stuff built like a custom Y splitter here for a wired remote, didn't work. So the method that I found to work was to get the lenses on a manual focus to make sure that live view is off and then also to use AC power adapters for both cameras and to get both of those adapters plugged into the same circuit. This is a method that will give you at least 90% of your shots perfectly in sync. Maybe one in 10 or so will not be in sync, but still gets you great results. Okay, moving on. Now that your cameras are in sync, we need to actually set the depth on the Robert rig. This is really easy to do. What you're gonna do is measure your distance from the nearest subject to the sensor plane on your camera and divide by 30. So let's say you're 900 millimeters from your subject, you divide it by 30, you'd wanna move it over 30 millimeters. I like to use millimeters as it makes the math much easier. So once you've got your number, you wanna slide your top camera over by the distance and lock it down. For more depth, you can slide the camera a little bit further, or for less depth, you can move your camera a little bit less. It's that easy. Now I have to do a quick warning. I've been using this method with my cameras without any ill effect, but you want to research and make sure that you can do the same kind of linking and not do damage to the equipment that you're going to be using. Okay, moving on. Working with strobes in 3D is not that different from traditional 2D. There's just a couple key things to keep in mind. First, you're probably going to want a large depth of field, so I would suggest stopping down the lens and increasing the power to compensate. Second, even though we're shooting in 3D, position your strobes to accentuate depth. There's a whole host of great depth cues outside of binocular vision, and we want to take advantage of as many as we can to really increase the impact of your image. And of course, the last thing you're going to need is something cool to film. Now, we had some spare wooden dinos lying around, so we made a little diorama and decided to reenact the extinction of the dinosaurs in paper and wood. Now, of course, you could do water droplets or flour being thrown. It's totally up to you. So this is the complete setup. We have the Robert rig right here. We have both of our DSLRs mounted to the Robert rig. They are connected with our 2.5 millimeter cable and the depth, et cetera, all the focus, all that stuff is set. Okay. Then we have the sync cable going from the flashes connected to just one of the cameras. This goes down to our two flashes over here. Now to take a 3D photo, all you do is you get your water, your droplets, your flower, whatever, and you go one, two, three, and you'll just push the button on one of the cameras. So let's try it. Ready? One, two, three. And that's it. You can take lots of wonderful 3D photos.